We've come upon this single female orangutan in the jungle and follow her quietly as she moves just ahead of us, clutching onto a durian fruit which she has no doubt picked up from the forest floor. This is a large obloid ten inch spiky fruit and a veritable feast for this creature. She keeps her distance from us, constantly behind the foliage, and we allow her this grace as we slowly work our way into her world. What I love so much is the considered nature of this creature. She moves benignly through the environment, seemingly conscious of her place in this world. She does not know who we are, but takes the time to look and feel, and as she becomes familiar with us, with who and what we are, she allows more contact, allows us to come closer and then begins with an almost polite interaction. Isn't this wonderful? These are her feet, clasping like a protective basket around this feast. She has decided that she's happy with us and, and is seemingly happy with herself too. The dexterity of this arboreal animal is quite phenomenal. The fact that she can hold her weight that easily on one extended powerful arm. Eat at the same time with the other arm and clasp the bounty in her very able feet. Just look at those delicate, graceful, beautiful fingers belying the incredible strength that those hands have. A delicate touch. Her phalanges, you can see, are almost abnormally extended, as are the bones in her forearms. And this morphology facilitates and enables this remarkable arboreal lifestyle. I love these encounters. Being with an animal which is not so much aware of you as it is conscious of you. It is a different relationship, this, and so it demands a different accountability.